What up, YouTube dudes? Man, are you guys ready? I'm actually kind of excited about this show. Um, I watched the first two seasons of the original show, and I didn't, I don't know, man, I just kind of got turned off the second season towards, like, the middle of it. I just, I don't know, maybe I should go back and finish it. Then again, when I found out old boy died, the main guy that I liked, he died in that shit later on, a couple of, and I just when I, when I heard that I had no desire to go back and finish that show at all yeah anyway so Netflix redid it well I guess it's the sequel it's not it's like a hundred years later right so yeah I'm interested to see if I like this one or not you guys let me know how you feel of course and if you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more hit that subscribe button let's go Eventually, maybe. I thought I heard something like that. I could be. I don't know what I'm talking about, though. Good friends. Tonight, on St. Bryce's Day, we say goodbye to my baby brother, Prince Harald Sigurdsson, the someday king of Norway. He thinks he's graced us with his presence, but we know it's him who's been made better by his visit. <laughs> You'll find a better send off than me. Stead, my faithful guards. Your Highness, we came as soon as we could. I know it is St. Bryce's Day, and you have undoubtedly left feasts with family, so please join me. This is a setup, man. I don't like this feeling. You said it was I... urgent, sire. Is there a threat? Yes. Ah. Uh, Over a hundred years ago, in an effort to ensure lasting peace with your people, my predecessors established the Dane Law. Yes, sire. We've been here so long, many of us no longer remember our own language. Exactly. They probably feel they are Saxon. Yes. But that's the problem, you see. They're not. This is not their home. When the cockle grows amongst the barley, there is only one way to purify the field. They're gonna, yeah, it's poison or something. Therefore, tonight, I order that all Vikings living on this island be exterminated. <laughs> Cowards, man. All of them. Get that motherfucker, man. <laughs> wow. So what are they going to do about this? Hell yeah, man. Something everything, man. I would kill their kids, their fucking wives, their children, nigga, everybody. I wouldn't give a fuck. That's how I feel. Oh, that would be so scary. Can you imagine how scary that would be? I can't even swim, so I would piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. The other boat was didn't make it though. name did you avoid the storm did any ships from the west make it in last night no 
Just two ships before the storm. It's possible. Toki, Wolf, you stay here with the boats and resupply. Trade this, check with the captains at the harbor. The rest of you will come with me to search the town. I'm coming too. No. You get your moment. Please. Calling of all Vikings for revenge. <laughs> if you're not here for the capital in Greenlander, what has brought you to Katiga? I'm looking for a Viking who wears his cross. Hey, where did you get this coat? I want it. I you double what it cost you. This is what it cost me. Double would have killed me. <laughs> you know who I am? I'm Alfrun from Trondelag. Who give a fuck? Get out of my face. Your answer is yes, Alfrun. Right away, Alfrun. Do you understand? No, Alfrun. Go away. Kill his ass, man. Do you not know where you are? This is sacred ground. I'm sorry. I meant no disrespect. What the fuck is this? What is your name? Is that a black lady? Freydis Eriksdotter. Erik? From Yaren? This is black Viking? Do not worry. I was a friend. Where is he now? With the army on the plane below? No. In Greenland, where we live. You're a long way from home, Freydis. What is your business here? I am on a mission. I can say no more. This is no longer a land safe for believers in the old ways. Only Katikat is safe. When you see your father again, tell him hello from Estrid Hokan. He will remember me. Is it black Vikings? Like, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. You meant to be like a slave or something? I mean, I could see it happening. Like, you know, they take slaves over there and then, you know, they make them like part of the family or whatnot. I don't know. It just seems weird, right? Slave <laughs> back? Uh. It's him, all right. It's Ericsson. Your father's Eric Thorvaldsson, yes? Eric the Red? What is that to you? Our name is Beckett. Your father killed our brother Sven. My father's history has nothing to do with me. Your father is a killer. Run away to escape justice, it has everything to do with you. You're making a mistake. No, Ericsson. The mistake was yours. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck all them motherfucking Christians up. <laughs> Kill him, man. Quit being nice to them, dude. Dude, why are you killing these fucks? Stab them in the throat, man. Keep letting them get up. You heathen bastard. You're just like your father. You're wrong. Fuck. 
I was like my father. You would all be dead. Damn. Kicked all their asses. <laughs> I would have killed those bastards, though. They would have got their throat slit. Fuck it. Erickson. From Greenland. Not the son of Viking warrior, Erik Thorvaldsen. Banished from Norway and Iceland for murder. The same. I suppose when you have a father like Erik the Red, you learn to fight like that. My name is Leif. I'm Harald Sigurdsson. We met yesterday. Yes, I remember. And I heard you last night. You're a good speaker. You moved many. Did I move you? Freddy said you captained your boat all the way from Greenland. You could use good ship captains who can fight. I can promise great glory if you join us in England. Glory? I thought you were going to England for revenge. We are. But true Vikings always reach for glory. That's what defines us. Like I said, you're a good speaker. I'll think about it. By the way, your sister, an amazing woman. I want to learn more about her. I think once she learns that you're a Christian, you'll find out all you need to know. We'll see. Keep an eye on him. I would want that dude on my team. He just kicked the shit out of like seven dudes. <laughs> now is our time to make history. To show the cowards in England that the Vikings, despite our differences, are still one people. One heart. So basically what happened was Christianity just broke up the Viking people. Oh, it was him? I thought it was the other guy. I 
thought it was that guy she was talking about the whole time. I didn't know it was that other dude. was the rapist the whole time all right so i guess i mean i might i guess i can't be too hard on that guy now i thought he was a rapist you know and there's nothing i can stand more than the motherfucking christian rapist guy who thinks he's somehow in the right with the lord even though he rapes people like you know i'm not with that but being that he's just like an overzealous christian i mean you know whatever <laughs> as long as he's not a rapist christian i'm all good with that so you know he's cool i guess you know, I mean, you know, <laughs> these damn you know what I mean? Like, comment, subscribe. No, but for real though, what did y'all think about that though? Was it good? Do y'all want to see more? I kind of want to watch the next one. Let me know. Comment and subscribe.